Hey guys, welcome to Retether Tech. My name is Jonathan, and we have the all new 8th Gen 2020 iPad. We're gonna unbox it and see if it's really any different from last year's iPad, the 2019 7th Gen iPad. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and remove this plastic. This is the 8th Gen 32 gigabyte iPad in rose gold. You're able to shake it off. There. And we have the iPad up front. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. We can take a look. It looks almost identical. It's pretty much exactly the same iPad as last year's 7th gen iPad. We're going to go ahead and put this to the side and see what else comes in the box. Normal paperwork that you would get with any iPad. Do they come with stickers? They do. They have the regular Apple white stickers that you get with all of Apple's devices. Go ahead and put that right there. And this actually comes with a lightning to USB type C cable. So that's actually pretty good. I wasn't expecting Apple to include on their budget iPad, on their cheapest iPad, a lightning to USB type C cable, but they did include that. And they also included a 20 watt charging brick. So that's actually also very surprising. I did not expect Apple to include the 20 watt charging brick and the USB Type-C to lightning cable in their budget iPad, but they did. So let's go ahead and put this paperwork back inside the box. We're not gonna use that. Well, let's take a look at the iPad itself. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic. Here is the iPad in its rose gold glory. And let's go ahead and power it up and see what we can expect from this iPad. So once again, it's pretty much identical to last year's iPad, the 7th Gen 2019 iPad. Um, it has Touch ID up front, normal iPad bezels that we've been used to for many years now. The power button is on top. You have two speakers on the bottom and a headphone jack. They kept the headphone jack. So that's good that they kept it for another generation. Volume up and down on top. It also has on the bottom the connector where you can connect the smart keyboard that Apple sells separately. If you want a smart keyboard, they are expensive, but you have the ability to use this iPad with the smart keyboard. And you can also use the first generation Apple Pencil with this iPad. So if you're looking for a budget iPad that you can use Apple Pencil, smart keyboard, all of that, this is the iPad to choose. It's the cheapest iPad you can buy at only $329. When it comes to design, this iPad is identical to last year's iPad, the 2019 7th Gen iPad. Uh, the only difference really between this iPad and last year's iPad is the processor. This one has Apple's A12 Bionic chip, which isn't the latest processor Apple makes, but it's a newer processor. The processor that, that it comes with, the A12 Bionic, it's still a really good and speedy processor. It's going to pretty much do everything you need it to do on an iPad. Obviously, if you wanted the latest and best and fastest processor, you'd go for the iPad Pro but this is a great option. The only issue I have with this iPad, and we're still gonna do the full review on it, but as of right now, the only issue is storage capacity. This one only comes with 32 gigabytes of storage, and you can go up to 128 gigabytes, but that's $100 more. So if you wanted just the basic, you wanna save as much money as possible, it's $329 for this iPad, but keep in mind, that only comes with 32 gigabytes of storage, which you will probably fill up really quickly with applications, movies. So I would recommend if you can pay the hundred dollars more, get this iPad in 128 gigabytes of storage. 
because there's no micro SD in these iPads. There's no micro SD expansion in any of the Apple products. You're stuck with that storage capacity. So if you want this iPad to really last for the next two to three years, you're gonna need more storage. That's my recommendation. But if you just wanna save as much money as possible, or if you wanna get this iPad plus the Apple Pencil, which costs about a hundred bucks, that's another good option as well. You can get the 32 gigabyte version and the Apple Pencil for the same price as a 128 gigabyte version of this iPad. So we're gonna still do a full review of this iPad. I'm gonna test it out, see how much different it is compared to last year's iPad, the 2019 iPad, the seventh gen iPad, just to be clear. So if you wanna see that video, I'm actually gonna do a versus. I'm gonna do a comparison between this iPad and last year's iPad. I'm gonna put it head to head and see what the differences are and see if it's really worth, I mean, I could tell you right now, it's not worth upgrading from last year's to this year's, but really what the differences are from one generation to the other. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.